Hey everyone, okay, so I was asked in a comment to create Instagram worthy skin without using a liquid or cream foundation. So this is what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. So I'm using a primer to begin with and just applying this all over my face and all the links are in the description bar. So I'm using Bare Minerals in the original and I'm using Light Beige and I'm gonna buff this onto the skin. Now bear in mind that this is a full coverage tutorial. Now, even though it looks okay, in real life, it's a lot of makeup and it's heavy. It does look less makeup-y than liquids and powders combined, but it's still a heavy look. So I'm buffing this all over the face with one of my gorgeous brushes. Link in the description bar. So buffing that on. Next, I'm going to use another one, which is fairly medium. And I'm going to use this to highlight or basically conceal um, areas of the face that I want to be a bit lighter. So I'm going over this with my brush. I'm blending this in underneath the eye and all the areas you can see. Next, I'm taking a huge powder brush and I'm buffing in a bronzer. And I'm not trying to sculpt, I'm just trying to add dimension so there's contrast between the light areas and the deeper areas. So I'm just buffing this all over the face, bringing it down onto the neck. You get the gist. I tell you, that door in the background opens on its own. It's quite frightening. Next, I'm using a blusher and I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna apply this in a relatively heavy manner and then we're gonna blend it out a bit later. So I'm applying this on the upper part. I'm not a big fan of apples on the cheeks, particularly on an angular face because it can just look a bit drawn. Taking RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna buff this all over the skin, AKA the buffing technique. And this is gonna to help to blend in that bronzer, uh, the bronzer and the blusher and just make everything look a bit more airbrushed, which is what we are going for in this tutorial. So next I'm gonna use a highlighter. So I'm taking that with my eyeshadow brush and applying this to the points of the face that I want to highlight. And then I'm going over it again and buffing and blending that into the skin. So now, even though we didn't use technically a concealer. I'm gonna highlight underneath the eyes and down the sides of the nose. And then I'm just gonna kind of knock all that off because this leaves a really subtle highlight behind, which is why I'm a really big fan of it. Don't worry about any of the powder residue or anything. We're gonna get rid of that in a minute with a setting spray. Well, technically not a setting spray, but you get the message. So now I'm gonna highlight this area to sharpen up the cheek area. Going through the brows, because we've used a lot of powder, so I'm going through the brows with Charlotte Tilbury Brow Product, which is really nice. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit, so I've got a spot here, so I'm applying a little bit of pencil to turn that into a beauty mark. Ha, huh, genius! Mascara, just a little bit. This is the Glossier one, which is so nice because it looks like nothing, just black lashes, which is great. Now I'm gonna dust off all of that. And you can see it just sharpens that jawline area, makes it look really nice and just defined. Then I'm gonna set the face with a little bit of setting spray and that really completes the look. So you'll get a bit of a close up in a second. That's it, that's Instagram skin from me to you. I do not recommend it. <laughs> Thanks so much and I'll see you soon, bye bye.